In this video, I'm going to compare Trello to Smartsheet. So what the differences are and which one you should choose for your situation. But before we start, I want to say that I'm not paid by any of these two. I'm not paid by Smartsheet and I'm not, pay not paid by Trello. I just want to give my honest opinion, what I use and what I recommend um, to use for you. Whether it is Smartsheet or Trello, that really depends on what you're doing. If you want to do it for personal tasks as a business, if you have multiple people, if you want to create tasks and assign them, uh, yeah, I'm going to tell it in this video. So let's start with Trello. So the reason why Trello is very popular is because it's super easy to use. As you can see here, I am in a board of a, um, yeah, of a small business. And here you can see the tasks. So here are the video tasks, video topics I created. So this is all dummy, but you get the point. Here are the video topics. I can add a card, for example, paper video. Um, yeah, we can add this. And this is a video topic that someone has to make a video about PayPal. Then we can add a task. Let's delete this one. Then we can add a list and select create video and then when somebody is going to create a video they can drag it in here and once the video is created they can edit the label and make it green so everyone in this team understands that the video is created and then when the editor can edit this video they can drag it and put it in here and they can change the label again to for example blue once you've done that the video is done and now the owner of this can upload it. So ready to upload. Just like that. Then they can drag it in here. And this is basically how you can work with Trello with a small team if you have a small business. However, when we go to Smartsheet, you can see it's much more advanced. I would say Smartsheet is basically um, Excel and Google Docs as a smart as a project management tool so it's basically kind of excel made for an, for an uh, project management it's really different to trail around not really different it looks very similar uh, if we go to the home page here you can see it's it's pretty similar but you get the point here you have the tasks as an excel sheet assigned to start date so we can assign it to different people we can create different tasks different subtasks as you can see which is very nice due date you have that on trello as well but now here comes the advice if you just want to start out with a small business with some people i would definitely recommend trello the reason for that is this when we go to trello.com pricing you can see that it's free it has a business class and an enterprise what i recommend to you Take the free plan. I'm using it as well. It is great. You get a lot of things that you can use in Trello without paying anything. If you want to upgrade, if you do want to have a paid plan, then definitely choose Smartsheet. Smartsheet does cost money. Let's go to smartsheets.com slash pricing. So if we go just here, you can see that this is paid 13 euros a month, 22 euros a month for the business. Still, it's not a lot. It's not like 100 or 200 dollars a month. Um, but if you have a big business, a lot of different tasks, a lot of different subtasks, I would recommend you to use sheet, uh, use smart sheet, much smart sheets. I'm sorry, uh, because you can make it really clear in this thing instead of the boards on Trello. If you don't want to pay anything, go for Trello. If you do want to upgrade, don't choose the business class. It's just not worth it, but go for Smartsheet. So if this video helped you out, please leave a like, please subscribe and see you next time. Have a good day.